So, I just got back from I Want to Eat Your Pancreas. The title makes sense in context. Before I get into spoilers, let me just say 8 out of 10. Pretty good movie, good animation, as what you would expect from a movie like this. It also has pretty good characters, pretty good pacing. I haven't read the original source material, but it seems like a good adaptation. Nothing felt too rushed. And overall, just a pretty enjoyable experience. But for me, I didn't cry. So bef that's my quick mini review before I get into the plot summary with spoilers. All right, go watch the movie. Bye. Okay, now the rest of you. Okay, so... Man, dang. Um, I kind of actually predicted a lot of the things that were going to happen in this movie. Like the thing with the killer at the end. I kind of saw it coming from the moment they even talked about a killer being in the story. For a second there, I thought that we were going to have to figure out who the killer was. But the killer was just someone random. That's all it was. Which was more surprising to me than the fact that she was stabbed. But I do like this movie because the movie, for those of you who don't know and also don't care about m spoilers, is that it's about a guy and a girl with pancreatic cancer. He finds out that she has pancreatic cancer and he spends the last days of her, li of her life just doing the things that she wants to do with her because he's kind of apathetic and he kind of just chooses to go along with it over the course of the mo over the course of the movie he becomes mo a more involved person and less um apathetic and decides to be more involved in his own life and he gives her something that gives her gives her like a lot of um he gives her Dang it, I can't remember. Uh, well, I just saw this movie. Um, he gives her the... Not a reason to live, because she already was living. But, like, she made she made her... He made her feel whole. Well, for those of you who don't know, this isn't a romance. So if you're expecting them to do something romantic, that's not really the point. The, this is a coming-of-age story, not a romance. Um... And because of that, the the they don't really end up like doing anything bes besides hugging. They're like more than friends, but less than lovers, if that makes any sense. And I like their relationship; it works well. I like how they build up of each other. I like how our main character grows up and starts being a little bit more human in a way less of a boring person who does nothing and whose hobby is thinking about how other people think of him so i actually really like the main character some might find him a boring main character but i like him enough like he's not just a boilerplate b blank slate i mean i can't relate to him at all um but so that's good <laughs> like it's not like i'm like I can self-insert myself he is his own character so that's always nice to have a character who's their own character and not just so oh, he's don't you feel like him don't you feel like him I do like like overall he was he was just a, a good character who was slightly apathetic but then gained a little bit more he started living by the end of the movie and that was really actually important um the girl sakura she was great um she was basically the girl from your lie in april less violent uh it, she was she was a good character i liked her I, I even liked the friend character because i understood her type she was just very abrasive and everything and that was fine gum boy he was he was he he did nothing i have a feeling that he was cut out of the light novel um like this a silent voice adaptation where the main where like one of the characters just loses all their development and all their importance to the story and just there for like five minutes it's just like who are you bro um even though even the manga he was pretty important so i feel that's just because it's adapting a book to screen and that's just kind of what happens with these things which i don't have a problem with the movie overall was still good now you may be asking why didn't i cry in the moments like oh she died um too early or even when he's being revealed to have like um 
like it, like where he's reading her diary that that he hasn't really looked at this entire time and he's reading through it how come i didn't cry in catharsis in that moment i, I don't know um you could call me a heartless human being if you want i mean i thought it was sad i thought it was a good moment it was well directed um they did some interesting things um except for the bad cg flowers those kind of bothered me a little bit but that was pretty minor i really liked oh but like it was it was a good movie there's not a lot to talk about this movie because the movie's pretty simple girl has pancreatic cancer she dies a little early um and um uh th and her relationship with this one guy there's like four characters in this movie there's this one little side plot about her ex-boyfriend that appears for like a little bit um which was kind of odd it didn't really fit completely into what the movie was doing, but it worked over... It, I think it would have worked a little bit better if it was a romance. Like, that scene would have done a little bit more, but because it wasn't a romance, kind of felt a little out of place. They never really had to do that. There was one moment which felt kind of off that I, that I don't think was necessary, but that was about it. That's why this movie is overall just an 8 out of 10 movie, good time, when it comes out on Blu-ray, go buy it. It's worth the buy. And if you're weaker to crying things, you you'll you'll probably cry your eyes out. I watched this movie with my sister in a theater. She cried. Um, <laughs> and I and I, a lot of my people in my theater were crying. I was like one of the few people who were just like, oh yeah, man, this is pretty sad. So different strokes for different folks remember i'm the same guy who thought that episode 10 of violet evergarden was just okay so not the best guy to come for crying i do cry watching shows just so you guys don't think i'm heartless i have cried in anime this is just not one of them um and for reference i didn't even cry in your line april i was just more just really sad i was just i was just like i have a thing like, i think it's because i watched your line april i didn't cry here because your line april like um prepared me for that because your lie in April just taught me the world just isn't fair. I mean, anime movies, I don't know why they like having, like, um, bittersweet endings. Um, but they do. A lot of them do. Um, and I've watched... And I and Makoto Shinkai trained me when I watched five centimeters per second, and I ended that movie, and I was just like, why? Why did we do that? Why did we just have to go here? So, <laughs> if anything, it's because I've watched so many anime movies and anime that I've just kind of, like, become a little bit numb to bittersweet endings where, like, I can handle them unless they really get me attached. But, be but like, that has to be, like, a surprise. The thing is, the whole movie you know she's gonna die because the movie starts with her funeral. And so you know she's going to die, and you know the indicator of when. When he texts her, I want to eat your pancreas. Well, ha, they said the title. When they um, when he texts her, I want to eat your pancreas, that's when you know she's going to die. Because that he says that's the last text he sent her. So when the indicator happened, I already mentally was prepared, and the killer thing. I, I think I just mentally prepared myself too much for things happening, so I didn't really get the catharsis that I would have. Like, when I read Fuka, like, when I read Fuka, not watch Fuka, Fuka's the anime was garbage, but the, but the, but the manga of Fuka, if you don't know, pretty early on, the main love interest gets hit by a truck, truck coon, really coming for your girls, uh, <laughs> he really, um, she, she gets run over, and you didn't see it coming, because everything was going well, everything was about to just keep rolling, we were about to move up, he just started dating her, which should have been an indicator, but he just started dating her, and then she dies, and then, the ne w I was so synced up with the character, because it was such a surprise, that I didn't start crying until he started crying in his big cathartic moment, um, and I think I've cried in a few other character deaths since then. I just can't think of them off the top of my head. But this movie, it was good. It was good. Um, it's probably be better for others. It is my thing, but I still didn't really um, uh, get completely invested. But I, I got invested enough. I liked it enough. The dub was also good. So go check it out when you can or watch it on you know where um, later because it's on there because this came out in Japan in September. All right, next week will probably be a real video um, that isn't unscripted. Um, 
see you then.